Welcome back to the desmadre that is my life. I apologize in advance if I'm looking a little rough. I just came back from hard summer, so I'm looking a little toasty. And on top of that, this hair ain't working out either, so any help in the cons. Trust me, I know, I'm looking like a bum-ass bitch. So, I think for this video, I kind of wanted to do a makeup tutorial. <laughs> a makeup tutorial. A makeup tutorial. Um, what kind of makeup tutorial we're gonna do, I have no fucking clue. Your guess is as good as mine, but let me tell you, sister, we're gonna find out together. I'm gonna try not to talk in this video only because um, I am gonna run up my AC so you might hear this sound the whole time and I kind of don't want to have that sound in the background as I'm speaking to you um, just because I don't have like a, a mic that I, I can attach to yet um, so we're gonna have like a silent tutorial um, I am gonna talk through a little bit um, just to kind of like show you where I'm at what I'm doing so yeah hope you guys enjoy Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, a primer that I fell in love with. Uh, one of my friends recommended me this primer. Um, I had been using a couple primers in the past, um, but I don't think nothing has been as good as this. Uh, this is the Milk Primer. A bitch did get two, just because this shit was the bomb. Is the bomb. Um, this is actually one of my favorite primers at the moment. Before we really dive into this video, I want to kind of explain to you as to what the hell is about to happen in this next part. Um, you can skip this part. Um, this is not for uh, your everyday type of thing. I do this for myself um, because I got some sad bitch brows. Now let me explain to you what sad bitch brows are. Now sad bitch brows are like those type of brows like Raven Simone had back when she was, uh, what's it called, like a baby. Ain't nothing sexy. Like there's nothing sexy about having sad bitch brows. So what I usually do, I usually either cover them, half cover them, and then I lift up my brow also that helps me with um, being able to play more with colors on onto my eyelid and my eye socket um, like I said this is not a step for everybody uh, this is all, this can be a step for my drag queens out there that do makeup um, I'm about to show you um, how we do this next product that I'm using is by Elmer's glue stick and it's in the shade purple <laughs> By combing the hair upwards, I'm going to flatten out the surface, which is going to give it less texture. I found out that using the opposite side of the brush, it helps with flattening out your eyebrow. I actually learned this trick by a drag queen, go figure. Next, I'm just taking a napkin just to kind of dry these babies out. And I actually repeat this process like three times. On the third coat, before it dries out, I'm actually going to set it with a loose powder. And this is like my NYX loose powder that I've been using for like years. Holy shit, my whole fucking thing disappeared. <laughs> so, I clearly did not anticipate for my eyebrows to be this covered, but if I go, we're gonna work with it. Using a big fluffy brush, I'm just gonna brush off the excess powder. To further conceal my eyebrows, I'm gonna take the Morphe M173 and I'm gonna take on my MAC Pro Concealer Palette in the shade Medium. I actually like to dab in my concealer just to try to reach those crevices in my eyebrows. I like to combine the both darker shades from the palette just to try to get a close match to my actual skin tone. And here I'm going to repeat that same dabbing motion. For the next upcoming part, I'm just going to skip through the eyebrows. Uh, I think I'll do an eyebrow tutorial later on. I'm only going to skip it just because it takes a really long time for me to do my eyebrows. Because I am a perfectionist. Boom! Alright. Are they twin sisters? I'm not so sure, but I can tell you this. They're relatives. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use one of my favorite products, and it's the MAC Paint in the shade Painterly. Now for this process, you can either use a brush, you can use your finger. I like to use my finger. I just feel more comfortable using my finger, to be honest. Sorry, I added up um, a lamp just because I feel like I needed it. Um, I think for the sake of this video, I think we're gonna, probably gonna do a, like an easy kind of like makeup tutorial. I'm gonna mo mo uh, focus more on the eyes and then just kind of throw everything back, uh, throw everything together. Um, but like I said, for the sake of this video, I think we're probably gonna do just like an easy like eye makeup tutorial type of thing. So. 
For this uh, tutorial, I think I'm tr gonna try and stick to just one palette just because I don't want to be using shadow from shadow from shadow from different types of, uh, uh, what's it called, um, makeup brands. Um, so we're gonna try to, <laughs> we're gonna try to stick to the, uh, the hoodie, the original Hoodie Beauty pa uh, palette. This is the Rose Gold Edition. I think this was probably one of the first ones that came out. This is probably the old ass fucking palette. This is how you know I've been playing with makeup in a really long ass fucking time. Uh, so we're gonna try to stick just this palette for, at least for this eye look, cause for brush, we're gonna use uh, this Sigma tapered brush. Uh, this is in E40, one of my favorite brushes, to be honest. Uh, and then I'm gonna take on Shy from the palette. Oh shit! From the palette. Oh shit! I'm gonna take on Shy from the palette, which is like this light pink, uh, light pink. Oh, yeah, that's a light pink color. I start by placing the shadow onto the outer corner of my eye, and then work my way inward. Hermana, you're gonna have to hit it with that circular motion, girl. To be honest, I just pack on the eyeshadow until I feel satisfied with the outcome. And here I'm just trying to give you a view of my eyeshadow placement. Using the same brush, next shadow I'm going to take on is Flamingo. I'm going to be using the same technique that I used for the previous eyeshadow. Only difference is, is that I'm, I'm going to work this shadow a little bit lower than the previous shadow. Taking a Morphe MB13, I'm gonna go in with Bossy next. That's a dark as burgundy. <laughs> I'm working with this brush primarily for the tip that it has. I wanna be able to focus Bossy onto my natural crease rather than using a fluffy brush and getting all over the two previous shadows. And I like the tip just because I get to really focus that shadow into my natural crease. Next, using a clean blending brush, you're going to soften up Bossy. And here's a side-to-side -side comparison with Bossy and without Bossy. I'm not going to lie, I look like I sucked in the face. Next, I'm just taking a simple flat brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Coco next. I'm going to primarily focus Coco onto my actual eyelid, which is really small. And just like we did with Bossy, I'm going to take that clean blending brush and I'm going to soften up that Coco. Alright, so I'm actually not finished with my eyes, but I am going to go in with my foundation just because I like to do the last minute touches of my eyes after I've done the foundation, the concealer, all that good stuff. So, for my waterline, I'm gonna take on Coco with a eyeliner brush. I ain't trying to get too crazy with this Coco, but I'm just gonna put on to my natural waterline and just kind of just simple and cute. Alright, so this is the finishing product. For last minute things, um, for lips, I am actually wearing, uh, what is it? NYX Lip Tees in the shade <laughs> Decadent, my step in the back. Uh, in the shade Decadent. Um, for lashes, I'm actually wearing Viol uh, Violet Voss Lashes. These are in Donut. I do not care. Which, I've been using these for like the past, I don't know how many looks, which I'm sure by now I'm gonna get pink eye. Um, <laughs> uh, what else did I do? Oh, for, um, I use a little bit of highlight just because I am actually oily and my oily face will seep through this foundation. So I use like a tiny hint of uh, what's called champagne pop. I also use it onto the inner corner of my eye. Wow, this lip gloss is fucking everything. What the fuck? I hope you guys like this look. Um, I know it's not really like a summer look, but it is a very smoky look. I look like fucking Chris Jenner, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and hope you guys see you soon.